Some time ago, YouTuber Tom Scott did a video demonstrating the art of the bodge. And what he does is he makes a emoji keyboard using Windows and Auto Hotkey and 14 USB keyboards. Now in that video, he uh, a couple of times he briefly um, mentions the possibility of doing it on Linux and his response is, uh, Mac and Linux folks in the comments are going to be going, oh, oh yeah, all, all you have to do, all you have to do is co connect the flumberboozle to the GKX virtual port, then write it, no, no. So just for fun, I thought it would be amusing to try to replicate his emoji keyboard using Linux. And this quick video is to demonstrate a proof of concept. It's not the final, not the final product. Uh, I may... Uh, see this through to completion, but just as a proof of concept, um, I'm going to demonstrate how, uh, how I was able to do this. So what I've got is um, Raspbian installed on a Raspberry Pi, and I've got three keyboards hooked up to it. Uh, I'm going to use the command uh, X input to list the device IDs for the various keyboards that I've got hooked up. They'll be, um, they'll each have a, a number uh, and X input lists those out. Um, I'm looking for the ID for uh, a specific keyboard because uh, as you might imagine out of the box if you've got multiple keyboards hooked up to the computer um, all the keyboards work exactly the same way. You press the Q on one keyboard and it types a letter Q. You press Q on another keyboard and it also types a letter Q. So we'll be using uh, the keyboard with a device ID of 9. Now the second trick to getting emojis to appear is to make some custom keyboard layouts. Um, the keyboard layouts in Linux um, sort of handle the mapping of what you press on the keyboard to what gets outputted on screen or in your text editor or whatever. Um, and by default I'm using the US United States keyboard layout. Uh, what I've done is uh, I copied that layout um, and then I edited the copy I made and all I did was change the Q and the W key um, so that when they were pressed Q would send the Unicode for the upward pointing finger and W would put in the Unicode to do the skin tone shading to modify it. Um, so I've, I have previously saved that to the file emj02, which you will be able to see on the screen. To do this properly, you would need to make multiple layouts. So you'd have to fill up a layout with all the different Unicodes that you could fit on a particular keyboard and then make essentially one layout per keyboard then you can use the set xkb map command and the device ID we found earlier to manually assign our new keyboard layout just to that one keyboard. And that's what links up the layout to the keyboard. So to demonstrate, I'm going to switch to I'm going to bring up Twitter. And I'm going to demonstrate typing the the key Q and the key W. That should make an upward pointing finger, and then it should modify it with a shaded skin tone. 
So I've switched to my phone and I'm, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I press it on the, the actual keyboard and how it shows up on the screen. And then I'm going to show how I'm typing regular keys on my main keyboard. and then back to the emoji keyboard. So that's it, that's my proof of concept. Um, if I have some time, I'll try to uh, bring this to completion and see if we can make a, uh, a fully uh, emoji keyboard in Linux. Thanks for watching.